1977, seventh grade, Bain Pito was first diagnosed with asthma, really bad asthma. I couldn't go on, you know, field trips that required, uh, you know, physical activity, um, camping trips that were part of the school, you know, um, I think sixth grade and eighth grade, you know, things like that. Um, just playing out in the yard, basically. I had to do the very uh, sedentary things like learn how to play the piano. <laughs> Over the years, she's dealt with multiple hospitalizations, inhalers everywhere, car, purse, every room of the house. Marriage to a military man meant frequent moves and acclimating to new weather conditions, and then a daughter. I told Nicole, my coordinator, that I'm banking my life on this because I've got, you know, a little girl that I want to see grow up. This is bronchial thermoplasty, a new therapy for patients with severe, difficult to control asthma. Bain was part of a UAB study of the technique which has now received FDA approval. It employs thermal energy to open the airways in the lungs. A normal airway uh, kind of has a thin layer of smooth muscle uh, that surrounds uh, the bronchus. And when they're exposed, or when you and I are exposed to things that make that muscle contract, it does so and it can narrow the airway. Person who has asthma, the muscle gets much, much thicker. And so when it contracts, it closes off the airway. The outpatient procedure calls for three treatments, one each for the lower lobes and another for the two top lobes, spaced about three weeks apart. Then we deploy uh, a catheter that has a heating element on the end. Uh, that looks like a small wire basket. We expand the basket inside the airway, push a foot pedal, and it delivers this thermal energy. The energy is applied to anywhere from 30 to 50 segments of airway in each lobe, reducing the amount of smooth muscle. It's for the 5% of asthma patients who can't control the disease with the usual inhaled medications. Transfield believes it will lead to about a 40% reduction in adverse asthma episodes for those patients. Ideally what it means is they uh, require less bursts of oral steroids to treat their flare-ups, means fewer missed school days, missed work days, uh, and then on an ongoing basis ideally it improves their overall quality of life. Bain Pito is looking forward to a new, more active life. I think I'll be definitely more physical, you know. I, my neighbors are always asking me to go walk with them and I'm like, that's okay, I'll watch you. <laughs> I'll be here when you come back, have coffee with me, you know. So I, I definitely want to be, you know, up and, and going and doing other things, but just to keep up with my daughter would be, would be just, you know, great.